Hey guys, welcome back to another Coding Flamingo video. In this video series, we're deploying a Blazor static page to many different cloud services from different tools. In this video, we're going to deploy it to a storage account from GitHub. So uh, we have a, our project from the previous times that it's uh, the Blazor static deploy, and we have our repo that, that has it. And now we're going to go here in Azure, and we're going to create a storage account. So, so we're going to select the deploy Blazor resource group and then for storage account name we're gonna call it Code and Flamingo Blazor we're gonna put it in US Central and here currently uh, this is only supported in standards so do not press premium because I spent like 30 minutes looking for the option after I select a premium it does not exist so we're gonna leave it as standard and then with hot so it's uh, faster access and it has to be storage v2 uh, this is the only one that supports it you can select your geo redundancy and here we're just going to go with the default we're basically going to keep this the rest default so we want any old networks to go in but if you if this is a private website you might select some networks and we're not going to do any self delete or anything basically we're just going to keep everything we're going to leave tls at 1.0 although technically we should probably increase that uh, to 1.2 this is just a static website no no real care for security in this one. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and create it. All right, so now that it got created, we're gonna go to the resource. I didn't like it. There we go. We're gonna go to the resource, and in here you're gonna see a static website, and in here we're gonna select it. Okay, so we're gonna go here and we're gonna enable it, and in here we have to put in the index.html to be the index for it. And then right now, every time uh, storage accounts still have a problem kind of like dealing with rerouting and stuff. So it would send you to the error page when you're going to slash something in the app that it actually exists. So in here, we're going to put an index page so it can be able to reroute. And if it actually can't find the file, it'll just be a 404. Um, so we're going to save this. One thing that I wanted to show though is you can also do this. So if you're doing infrastructure as code, which I really like, I don't like going through the portal. I, I just do this when we're starting. Um, you can do this uh, once you create the blob, you can just do storage blob, service properties, update. Then you put your blob name, sorry, not the blob, the storage account name and static website. And then you select where you want it the 404 page and the index page which one you want and you have to put auth mode login so it grabs the token that you're using with az so next we're going to go to powershell and we're going to run let's just go through the command here so basically we're going to create a service principle and this is to connect to github so we're going to create a service principle you can call it whatever you want and we want it to be a contributor into the uh, it's going to be in the resource group. We're going to scope it down here. So we want it to be a contributor so we can create resources and stuff. So this goes back to if you want GitHub to create your resources and stuff when you deploy, uh, you want to give it contributor rights. And then in here you put your subscription ID and then you put the resource group name. Um, here are your, I already created one, so we're just going to call it one just to be sure. And we're gonna copy this and we're gonna. So, first, I would have to log in. I already logged in, but in there it would send you to the browser and stuff. And now we're just gonna create the service principle. So, it's creating it. And as you're gonna see, it's gonna give us uh, JSON. So, in here, it tells you the client ID, client secret, what subscription, and kind of like all the information it needs. Um, very careful, this has your secret, so you should not put it on a video on YouTube. Uh, don't worry, I'm gonna delete this <laughs> afterwards. So then you're gonna copy this, and we're gonna go to here, um, to your repo, and in settings, uh, we're gonna go to secrets, and we're gonna create a new one. I already created it, so this is just gonna be, so your secret name, you would put whatever name you want, 
and then in here you would just copy this and you would do add secret. I already copied it before with the one that we're actually going to use. So um, no need to do that again. So then after that we just have to deploy. So we're going to go back to GitHub and in here we have the action that I created. So let's go through it. Let me just make this bigger. So we're going to, we just called it deploy to Azure storage and it's going to be when we push to master. And I set some environments. So this one you would have to change with your Azure resource group and your storage account name. And then we kind of do the same build that we did last time. And the only thing we change, so for this one, I'm actually starting to do it more kind of how I would do it in production. So I break it down into two steps. So the first activity is the build. And here we build it. So in the next one, basically they can even be running in different machines in the back end in GitHub. So basically what you have to do is publish your artifacts. So basically all the stuff you build, you have to publish it. And then your next activity will have to download the artifacts into that session. And then we're gonna authenticate to Azure. And as you see, we're using the Azure credentials we used before. And then we're gonna deploy using CLI. So this uses Azure CLI, uh, it's a GitHub action, and you just use an inline script. And in here I was just ls to check, I was debugging something, so I, I just kept it there so I can see the files that we're actually uploading. And then in here we're showing the account that is being used, and then we're uploading to, to the blob storage account name that we created, and www root, and this is the source, so we're uploading all the files in WW root, and we're uploading it to dollar sign web. But if we can see here, it says that it, that's the storage container that has been created for the website. So now we're gonna do a commit, which is gonna uh, start a new action. And as always, all this code and all this is in the GitHub and the link is in the description so feel free to go there and check out basically all the code. So as you can see here first we're doing the building and I'm just gonna fast forward through this but basically it's gonna build the .NET and then it's gonna publish it and then publish the artifacts. Which if we go to one that is already done here you can see that it publishes the artifacts so you can download them and see that what you actually built is the right thing. So here we can see that there's a www root and all this stuff. So now it's deploying it. So all right, and the deploy finished. So in here, I'm just gonna scroll to the top. Here we can see that we're running it. We did the ls, then we show the account that is doing it, and then it's uploading everything. So in here you can see all the files that are being uploaded. So now if we go here. We should be able to just copy this link and go and we should have our Blazor application. And there you go. And that's how you deploy Blazor application to Azure storage using GitHub. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.